This is how to set up your iPhone 8 or iPhone 8 Plus. I'm Josh Smith with GuidingMobile.com. We're going to walk you through what you need to do to set up your new iPhone. There's two ways you can do this, but we're going to go with the manual method so that you can see each of the options. First thing you're going to choose your language and then your region. Now here's where I can choose to bring another device close or I can go ahead and set up manually. So I'm gonna hit set up manually. It's gonna walk us through each of the options one by one. Here you can choose if you're going to bring your old data over either from iCloud, which can take a little while, from an iTunes backup, which takes a little while but not as long, set up as a new phone or even move over your data and some of your easy to access apps from Android. I like to set up as a new iPhone this is something that's good to do at least once every two years when you get a new device because it's gonna leave behind some of the cruft, the apps you don't use, and possibly some problems on your old phone. So I'm gonna choose set up as a new iPhone. And this is gonna ask me if I want to use express settings or if I wanna customize them. So basically it's asking what data can be sent to Apple as part of this whole process of using the phone and so Siri is going to collect information about you. Maps and other apps can find your location and then whether or not you're going to pass information on about apps. So you can hit continue or you can hit customize settings. If we choose customize, it'll basically walk us through. And here I'm gonna enable location services. That's what allows your iPhone apps to know what, where you are so that they can show you relevant information like weather or restaurants nearby. It's something that on the surface, it might sound kind of scary, but really you do want the iPhone to know where you're at. So now we can set up Apple Pay right here, or we can set it up later in the wallet. Once you go ahead and add all of your cards to your wallet, now you need to decide if you're gonna use Siri. So here you can say, yeah, I'm gonna use it. Next, you need to decide if you're gonna share your iPhone analytics with Apple. This basically lets them know when you have problems, and it's something that it's really up to you. You can share or you can, you can choose not to share. We're gonna go ahead and share. And we're gonna also share app analytics with developers. That way they can see what's going on if something's not going right with their app, which hopefully gives us better apps, better service. And so now we can see an option for the new True Tone display. And so you're able to kind of see a slight difference in the screen quality here, where it's slightly bluer less white without True Tone Display. So we're gonna leave True Tone Display on. And now we can, if we want to, customize the home button. So this is not a physical home button. It's like the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, where you can choose the amount of feedback you want uh, while you're clicking on it. So we like three, but it's really down to personal preference. Tap next once you have that set up. Now we want to choose if we want the display to zoom in. We like standard. Zoomed makes everything a little bit bigger. And so you can kind of see the difference here. You can see more on screen with standard, but if you want text to be a little bit bigger, go ahead and go with zoomed. So we're going to choose standard and next. And then we're back to welcome to iPhone and get started. And it's going to take us over to our home screen. And so we can choose now do I want to use this for our device sharing location when I'm sharing my uh, iPhone's location with other people from there you're ready to go your iPhone is set up you can now start downloading apps configuring some of the settings that you want to change to make the iPhone yours maybe you want to add battery percent whatever that's all there is to it you can check out more at gotta be mobile.com